Eyewitness Sports right now. A lot to get to and never enough time. And that's exactly how it feels when we have so many games we want to tell you about tonight from sectional playoffs, but also how it felt for some of the teams today as the intensity was rising and the clock was winding down. Let's start off with our biggest school, Proctor Boys Soccer, playing at CNS in the Section 3 Class AA quarterfinals. With just over 20 minutes left in play, that was a cross by Waya Mayant, who knocks it home. Proctor took the 1 0 lead. But it gets tied up and goes to double overtime where the Raiders gave up a goal. Garrett Nana stood on his head with 13 saves but missed the final one as the North Stars knocked a header over him then kicked it into an empty net. Whitesboro hosted Carthage in Class A's first round. It's scoreless late in the first half. Six minutes to go. Max Pulowski with a long kick and Jacob Coughlin finishes the job. A header to score. It's 1-0 Warriors. Less than three minutes later now, Pulowski charging ahead. Breaking some ankles along the way, and the cross goes off the post and in his team leading eighth goal of the season. As Whitesboro takes a 2 0 lead, that's the final. Now having a quarterfinals date with New Hartford on Friday at 5 p.m. Section 3 Class B boys soccer in Clinton going to overtime against Marcellus with no score. The Warriors had just beat the Mustangs 1 0 on Saturday to end the season, but it's Marcellus with the shot off the post that ends it tonight. Sudden death for Clinton. The Warriors say they played hard, but wish they did more. We fought really hard throughout the game. Uh, we had our rough patches. We worked our way through it. We got some good chances. We just couldn't put it away. We were definitely coming in thinking we could. We have a really solid chance of winning this. I just don't think we could shoot today. We just weren't in it, honestly, from the beginning. The seniors say watch out because the young core of this team will be back. Also in Class B, Central Valley Academy hosted Mexico. Tight game decided by a ball off the foot of Cooper Reed. The goal assisted by Camden Hall to make it 1 0 final as the Thunder rolled to a quarterfinals matchup hosting West Hill on Friday. West Hill eliminated Westmoreland to Riskany tonight. And it's overtime and one goal games that defined most of the night so far. Herkimer hosted Mount Markham in Class C. They fit into the mold as well. Mount Markham junior Kevin Gates scores his team-leading 16th goal of the season, and that's the game winner. The Mustangs ride their horse to the quarterfinals. They'll play at Utica Academy of Science on Friday. The Adams won 8-0 tonight. In girls soccer, Section 4 Class C, defending champion Unitigo advances to the quarterfinals with a 6-2 win. And in Class D, Milford shuts out Lawrence to move on to play Skenevis in an Otsego County battle on Saturday. In field hockey, Section 3 Class B, Whitesboro hosting Camden. The game goes to double overtime tied at one. Whitesboro's on the move here. Freshman Casey Clawson with six goals so far this season. Make it seven. Game over. Next up is top seed Holland Patton for the Warriors on Sunday, 5 p.m. at VVS. In Class C, Clinton hosted Mount Markham field hockey. Jenna Deep already with one goal on the game for the Warriors' 1 0 lead. Late in quarter four, looking for insurance in the corner. It's deep again. 2 0 Clinton, and that closes the door. Next is the semifinals at Top Seed Canastota on Monday. And cap it all off with a game that goes to a shootout. Sequoia Valley field hockey went all the way to overtime, then double overtime and beyond. But that's as far as they'll go this year with a 2 to 1 final after the 3 to 1 shootout. So for now, that's all for sports, but go check out CNYHomepage.com for all your other top sports scores because we have all of them there. There are plenty of them tonight, and there are going to be plenty more tomorrow, so stay tuned. There's more Eyewitness News after the break, so stay friendly and stay tuned.